everybody, Gupid Q here, here with another Top 10. And this one, since it's going to be a counter to the Top 10 Best, this one's going to be the Top 10 Worst, quote-unquote, hit of games that I've played. And y'all might be thinking, that seems kind of mean. Well, people always ask for my favorite and least favorite, so people are going to be requesting it anyway, so might as well. And while I say worst, it's just the bottom of the list that I least enjoy playing. There are not bad people. None of that at all. It's just, again, just what I personally didn't like to play. Other people might like it, but, again, personal opinion. So if y'all like it, fine. Like it. That's cool. And if you agree, then, well, meh. Mostly for this list, I decided to do games that were either discontinued or finished. Most likely discontinued. So... Usually, if there are games that still have things to go, I do not include them on the list. Because they can still progress. But some of them are on here for reasons that they're not going to go back and fix them. It's just things that I'm not going to be enjoying to play. But I will anyway. So, yeah. Also, there's going to be spoilers for all the things in here. So prepare for, again, spoilers. So, yeah. Without further ado, here we go. Number 10. Domicles, A Haunting Past. You know, this game actually isn't that bad, really. The backstory and detail for it are really nice, and it has, you know, a really big build-up. It's got really good, again, backstory, and how it, you know, gets the backstory, the, the exposition told. That was pretty cool. But however, the character actions, motivations, well, not motivations as much, but how the characters acted were kind of off. I mean, there was also glitches in there that I just explored, I guess, a little too much, and the game glitched out horribly, that I had to stop playing for a day before having to replay the entire thing to get back to it. It's still playable, though, and the music choices are nice, so... Eh. Ah, uh, son of a bitch, hold on. Nah. Number 9. The Hanging Tree. This one's strange and kind of out of nowhere. I mean, this game is based on a song and people dying because of it, because why not? I don't know, this game's been discontinued for years, so while there is other options for it, it's still odd. And even at the end, it's odd, because it's, you know, it's... There's 2P involvement, and it's like, what... What... What? What is this? I don't know, it was, it was weird. I mean, there's comedy in there from how weird it is, but I think it takes itself too seriously. Yeah. Stay with us, Mr. England! Never give up, Mr. England! <laughs> that huh? one's Bob. Me too. <laughs> huh? Number 8. Game of Chess. This one tries to be deep in lore and backstory in an alternate universe, so on and so forth, but it kind of comes out confusing and stale. It, I mean, I get it, but it seems kind of cliché, but still too much information to really digest very well. It's just odd, I guess. There was a ton of glitches in there, too, that uh, things overlapped. I think things were put in parallel process instead of auto-run, because there was scenes that we could move on our own but then suddenly the cutscene kicked in and we'd be screwed and have to restart that section all over again in bed? I don't know I wasn't much of a fan of it skin there she is hello blah <laughs> number seven imaginary nightmare now, the idea is original, we don't have many games centered around just baby nations. Even though it was kind of a weird combination, but it was pretty alright. But, with how the plot proceeding, and the random character deaths, and overall it didn't really make much sense. I mean, yeah, it was a full-blown game with all a bunch of, you know, different puzzles and junk in it, but... Ugh. I mean, y'all might think, oh, you're only putting in here because of the music issue. Not really, it would have probably been in here no matter what. Though as y'all realize, I did have a music issue 
But, uh, when I confronted them about it, they just kind of deleted all of their games. So, I'm sorry, but that's what happens when you, you know, <laughs> could have just replaced it. We wouldn't have that much of a big deal, but whatever. Ooh, someone's gonna get their ass chewed into after this. By me! Number six. Francis Secret Vacation. Okay, I know this is a game by a beginner. It was the first attempt ever. And again, this isn't really worst made ever, it's just things I didn't like to play. And yeah, if you want me to be honest, I put it in there. I mean, there was very, very little direction and plot. I don't even remember if there was any music or not. Uh, just... We could skip to the end instantly if we wanted to. And the characters were odd. There wasn't really much of a narrative. I... Yeah. So, if you're looking for stale funny-ish moments, I guess? But, I don't know. I'm sorry, I was wrong, stupid bloody ranker. I didn't really mean what I said, so sorry, please. <laughs> Number five. Paranoia. Now, this is an example of an OC-led game gone wrong. The OC herself was bland, and the narrative was a bit convoluted. I mean, this is a Leanne game, and this is one of the worst I've seen, and it got discontinued because of it. It was based off of another series, but she didn't really know what she was doing with it? I don't know. It kept contradicting itself constantly, and had plot points that were interesting, but then it just threw itself out the window. I don't know if that was her choice or the series' choice, so it was kind of hard to decide. I don't know. Also, the, the Belarus scene is still kind of infamous of what the fuck, why would you do that to a female character? But again, uh, I don't know. If it's based off of something, yeah, I don't know. If it was being still continued, I wouldn't have much of a problem because there was be possibly a thing to make it all pay off, but since it's discontinued, I'm putting it on here. I want to slap this bitch! Ah! This is so frustrating! Number four. Mystery Talia. Alright, so... A. This thing has no switches, first off. Two. Like, maybe I just have more of an issue with this. This one is one of the ones that I put in for personal reasons of I got badgered for it for a long time for every video, and then when I finally played the built-up game, it wasn't that great, and it was actually really short. And, it, like, yeah, I know Mr. Italia has an update, and I will be playing it, but... Jesus Christ... I mean, they tried. Honest to God, they tried. They made their own visuals and everything, but God, something wasn't right. You might made a, you, you might want to look at your own craft and figure things out instead of you know. Yeah. Well, that's not creepy at all. Number three. Hit to Oni two. This one's also kind of for a personal reason of. Uh, Hitoni was something I grew, not grew up with personally, but it's something close to my heart. Even though it's oversaturated. But this continuation of it bashes on the, the morals of the original game, like Canada, France, they kill characters off without any consideration for the further plot, unless, you know, they're planning to go backwards in it. But even so, they did it weirdly. The characters are off, they treat the girls horribly, as you've seen before. A lot of the, again, a lot of the character arts, like Belarus's arc, uh, Liechtenstein's arc, uh, again, Canada's and France's especially, and they introduce a new OC villain other than quote-unquote Steve to, you know, make things more interesting because the owner of the journal, but then rainbow demons happen, and it's like, ah, bad dad, what? Mad father ripoff moment, what? Uh, uh, people are really excited for it to continue, and I most undoubtedly probably will be, if, because I hear it's still being continued, so I will be playing it and all. But God, it, 
It just makes me sad and like, what the fuck? And they turned into Dunk on Rope at one point, complete with like cosplay and shit. Which is like, yeah, that's kind of funny, but Jesus Christ, remember where we are. Fucking suicide. Give me a break. What the fuck am I looking at? Number two. Hit to Child's Play and Gothic Lolita Future Russia. This one's a tie because it's by the same person and kind of still, well, not really shared some of the same problems, but it kind of did. Oh, good lord. It's, it's glitchy as hell. And on some of them, I have really complicated morals. I mean, this future Russia character that seems to be the star of both of them, if you did not know the character's, the creator's backstory, like their DeviantArt page, the only reason I knew anything about it beforehand was because I looked at their DeviantArt beforehand that talked all about this character. So while Lupo did not, I did, so I could figure out what was going on, and it had some stuff like some quote-unquote child writing and some very uncomfortable sexual scenes, which made a bit of controversy for the first time I've seen in a long while. And the creator had a meltdown, called everyone a pedophile over it, and it was- it was a mess. And I still apologize for that. But Jesus Christ. Even though it is a personal project, you still need to think of an audience in mind for it. Like, yeah, sure, you're okay with it, but think of your audience. And if there is stuff in there that you don't want to take out, you should have put, at least put a warning on it that'd be some odd things, like Shoda and so on. At least I'd think, so when people would get into it, they know what they'd be getting into. Like, yeah, I can definitely see if, like, if your group around you doesn't really care for it, then you might not think of it. But if someone has a problem, you can at least put it in after instead of deleting everything, even your own profile. Though I did hear news that they are possibly making a new game that is more to the its original core of, you know, the Mystery of 1P2P Press and focusing on that more stuff, which... They seem to be taking away from, uh, the fairy tales and stuff, so I'm like, I hope they do that. I mean, yeah, sure, people make some crummy games sometimes, but it doesn't mean you can be blacklisted. We all make mistakes. I've con some controversy once in a while myself, just... Ugh, Jesus Christ. Sit down! This isn't that kind of game. What the hell do you know? I don't want to know. I drink awful things. Shush! I don't want to hear it! It's normal for a child to be that way. Bullshit! For now, it's best to just look out for him and let him do as he pleases. I guess you are right. Bullshit! Shh! Shush! Shush, my son. But not your son. Before I get to number one, I'm gonna have some honorable mentions. Just, uh, just a couple here. Corpse Party Spilt Nation Blood. This one was a Corpse Party, uh, replica, and I never played Corpse Party, but considering how it was done and how the characters were, it was kind of boring to sit through, and Italy was a lot more of a crybaby than usual, just random deaths, mostly for shipping. It's just... meh. Suicide Room. Suicide Room is, uh, one of those things where it's kind of a, not a Hitoni ripoff, but it has the formula of stuck in a mansion, horrible things trying to kill them off, they get killed off, meh. It's discontinued, I mean, continued on through fanfic, so, meh. Ace of Spades. Now you might be thinking, you never played Ace of Spades. Actually, I did, I just never posted it. Because the thing is, is that it's an OC-led game with a lot of really interesting scripts and stuff that it takes hunger, thirst, um, daylight, hours, and crafting into account, which was really confusing and overdone, but it was a really neat concept, and I would have liked to continue more into it. However, there was a little bug in there that could not read a face set whatsoever. If the creator could just fix that, I could be able to play it. And whenever I mentioned it, they just said, you just gotta do this. But my computer doesn't let it because they put a space in front of one of the face set tiles. And my computer can't register that. So if I can get that sort of thing fixed, I would play it happily. But other people could play it though, apparently. So I don't know, maybe it's just my computer. Number one. Storytalia. 
This game is literally unplayable. There's no skip text function. You can't even make the text go any faster. There's no save function. There's barely any direction and impassable maps. If you glitch once, if you stand in a wrong place while talking to someone, you will have to start from the very beginning of the game. This is a demo, oh no, and I looked at people's comments, and I looked at the game files itself, and apparently there was a ton in there that I never got to play. I never even got out of the meeting room, because it was so stupid and convoluted that I got lost, switches did not activate, nothing. You cannot release a game with it being glitched this bad. How other people were able to play it, I will have no idea. And it's been more than a year, and it doesn't look like they're going to go back to fix it. So I think they just kind of abandoned it, which is kind of a shame because I did kind of look forward to because it did have a plot that was sort of interesting. Well, I would have known if I was able to play more of it. I actually issued this as a challenge to other friends and they weren't able to get past the um, meeting scenes as I was. So this game is unplayable and that's inexcusable to have as a published product. At least with all the things I said on here, it was a playable game to start to finish. Sure, sometimes you might have to glitch and restart, but you can still get to the end of the game. This, no. We had to literally abandon it, because it was so bad. Which is... day. So, that's the worst on my list. Storyteller is the least favorite game I have ever played, because it is just so... <sighs> Vest, chick flicks, crying. I have emotions, you dicks. See, see, and he was hugging the tissue box too. Fuck you guys. So that's it for my list. Did you guys agree? Did you guys disagree? You can totally tell me. Did you guys like this top ten? Well, you can tell me in the comments of what kind of other top tens you'd like me to do. Cause you know I did best and worst. Now it's like, well, what else you want me to do? Top tens are fun. Yes. So, that's about it for me. So, have a good day, everybody. Bye!